Tadaan! Today we're outdoors and we're gonna use the uh, Time More V75 water dropper and the Aurea dripper but without the scale and the timer. Okay? Okay, um, we're gonna do 20 clicks on the Easy Presso Q Air, and for today's coffee, we're gonna use Taste of Harvest number three from H Proper Coffee Roasters. Okay, now we're gonna do, we're gonna do this combo <laughs> without any scale at all. So we're gonna do two different pours of 100 ml. Yeah. 100 ml. Okay. And 200 ml. But we're gonna do two different pours of 100 ml. Okay, our water is ready. Pag bumaba doon sa inner circle, yun yung 45 eh. Yan. 45 na yan. So, pwede na tayo magbukas. Okay. Yeah. Kaya pag nagpo-pull out ako, parang malabo ko. It's done. Check it out. Uh, if you look at the coffee bed, it's flat. Good extraction bed. I brought with me the dye fluid R2 and we're gonna test the extraction level later. But for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eh. <laughs> okay, here, here is the app. So we're gonna do proper testing, proper extraction testing of the coffee. Kalako si si brew result okay Ang ganda nakalagay puro glare <laughs> so far nakalagay 146 146 i really like it Ang ganda yung balance eh. okay 
those is 13 Hui. Okay, so without using a scale and without using a timer, just with the timer B75 water dropper, our extraction is 19.54 percent. Oh, I can see myself. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this episode. I would say that brewing with a timer water dropper without your scale and your timer is very successful. Right? That's it for this episode. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!